Labels. Labels, as a concept, is really straightforward. However, here's a warning up front. As far as I can tell, this is not in your specification. Not at all. Why oh why then am I talking about it in this video? Well, it's one of those things that's so obvious when you see it that they might just expect you to run with it and show your assembly code with labels in it. Not to mention the fact that some of the free learning materials given on the exam board's website contain labels. So, on balance, it's probably better to have an idea of what they are rather than going into the exam unprepared. The easiest way to explain labels is to show you some example code. We'll reuse the times table calculator code from earlier because, well, we've just seen that working and we'll rewrite it to use labels. Straight away, you'll see some new words written in lowercase in blue and they are the labels. And all they are is just a way of making the code a bit easier for a human to read and write. Rather than referring to line numbers all the time, we can give a line a label, like we have on line 7. That line is labelled as table. Then, instead of having to write the line number in the operand, we can just use the label. So we're using the left-hand side to tell the assembler the name of the line. It's got a little colon after the name. And then, when the assembler encounters the name of the label as its operand, as it does here on line 2, all the assembler does is replace the label with the actual line number. It does this in advance by constructing a thing called a symbol table, something else you might have heard of in the theory content. But for all intents and purposes, it's doing what's happening on the screen right now, replacing the labels with the actual line numbers so that the assembly code can just be run as normal. So that's quite literally all there is to it. If you're given a question with labels, you just go to those lines instead of using the line numbers. Simple, but so simple that it might have freaked people out if this was dropped into an exam question without context. 